uh, again, they, we converted on a third and 10 with the DPI. Um, and then we had the, uh, obviously the big chunk play with Justin, you know, Cole Komet tossing it to him. I thought that was a good play design. I uh, did a really good job there. And then we converted on the third and two, you know, for the touchdown. Um, you know, the next drive, we ended up getting a field goal. That was also good. So we started out there um, defensively, didn't start out good enough. You know, we uh, end up uh, getting that fourth and five, um, you know, that DPI um, where they got the ball down there on the, on the one yard line. So, again, I thought that was a good play. It was a good, uh, a nice job looking back at the ball. We'll see where that is. They got to look at the tape on that one. But, uh, you know, so that's where that is. But, uh, you know, and then, you know, we sustained some injuries today. You know, that's, uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Obviously, uh, you know, Tevin had the neck. You know, he was out, so that hurt our interior line a little bit. And then Schofield had the knee. You know, so you end up losing two guards in there. So that, that hurt us a little bit. Um, Jalen uh, Jones had the concussion, you know, out with the head. And then Pettis, just an update on him. You know, he was, uh, it was a head injury initially, but he was cleared through percu- uh, uh, concussion protocol. But he was sent to the hospital precautionary. You know, so he's at the hospital right now. Just the, you know, had some blurred vision and all that. So he's, uh, you know, just sent there as a precautionary measure. So that's where he is from there. Um, you know, and again, this again, the second half wasn't good enough. You know, we didn't come out in the second half, play good enough football. Uh, we didn't do the uh, get the takeaways like we had the last couple of weeks. You know, so we got to do a better job there. And we turned the ball over. You know, so when you lose the ball there, um, and you lose the line of scrimmage there. So you know, in the running game, they they're able to run the ball. We weren't good enough running the football there. So. Um, those two things are, are one of our, some of our goals, and uh, we didn't get that done today. So with that, open up to questions. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't sit well. You know, when the ball comes through there, first of all, when you, you have to be really strong in the middle. You know, so um, what we saw on the, uh, you know, on the pictures and all that, we're getting knocked out of our gaps, you know, inside. And then the ball comes through there. And I, like I said, like I've said in the past, when it does come through, there, the safety's got to get them on the ground. And there was a couple of situations there where the safety was right there, and then he ended up missing the tackle. Um, but uh, so we got to do a better job with that to minimize those gains. Yeah, that was some missed tackles. You know, third and eighteen to start the second half. Uh, you know, I think uh, our, one of our defensive linemen missed a tackle, and the, he spun out of it. And then our corner lost leverage, and our safety lost leverage. So again, you got to get him on the ground there. Yeah, I'll have to look at the tape. You know, I think their pass rushers are, are pretty good. I think uh, they did. I felt like they had, you know, pressure inside and also pressure on the edge. Um, you know, had that one series where they had the back-to-back sacks. Um, but uh, it just felt like they were collapsing the pocket pretty good. And uh, I think Justin felt that. Um, but uh, that's what I saw. No, it, it is important. It's important for us to be able to do that, you know, going forward, you know, this last game, you know, that's, again, that's why, you know, it, late into the game, we kept Justin in there, you know, because we want to get the game experience. You can't, you can't really get that anywhere else, you know, and uh, so that's why we decided as a staff and we decided as, you know, you know, working with Justin, he said, man, I, I want to be in there. Credit to him. He's like, man, coach, I'm still going out there. I want to be able to operate and uh, in his toughness and his grit, he wants to go out there and compete. And uh, so that's what we did. Well, you know, him with his leg, working through his leg, you know, I think it's uh, he was going to be in there with a limited number of plays. Uh, but, uh, again, again, so we were working through that. Didn't know if he was going to be up or not. So, again, that was a limited limited role uh, for him. But, uh, again, that's where it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we certainly discussed it. Every single series, we were discussing it, and we said, let's get him out there. Let's get him out there and do another two-minute drive um, and get the experience. Yeah, I mean, you can certainly look at it that way. But, you know, like we said, Justin's got to be back there and operate. And, uh, again, there's going to be different people out at certain times, and he's got to be able to operate, get rid of the ball when it's not there, and, uh, and do a good job having poison in the pocket. Yeah, yeah. So the whole sequence there was was decent for us, you know, except for the last play, you know. So we end up call, banging some timeouts. We end up they end up kicking the field goal. We told Velas, hey, take it out no matter what, you know. So we want to get a return. If we get the return, then we're gonna do you know whatever we need to do at that point based on the time. So all those things happened sequentially, you know, that which was great. You know, Velas obviously a great return, 
and we had seven seconds ball on the 45. So now you're working to your kick line. No timeouts, you're working to your kick line there, wherever the kick line was for that particular uh, situation. Sometimes it's seven yards, you got to get, sometimes it's eight yards, whatever that is, and working a sideline play. And we had a problem lining up, and it wasn't executed right. So that we got to do a better job there on offense. Yeah, that, that's what that's what we would have done too. We'd have done the same thing. Yep, they're gonna they're gonna line up wall defense, sideline defense, all that. They're gonna do that. So. Yeah, it's it's alignment assignment. It's alignment assignment. Get lined up, execute the play, and we've executed that play numerous times on, um, in practice. Yeah, you talked about, talk about the Yep. Yeah, I just go back to what I what I just what, what I just kind of uh, tried to state was that uh, in game in game experience. There's nothing like it. You know, we're, we're not going to get that anywhere else. And uh, again, that's a good pass rushing group. You know, so I thought it was really good to get that experience. Now, did it turn out the way he wanted to or the way we wanted to? No, it didn't. But uh, you got to work through that adversity. You got to work through that and figure it out uh, as a coaches, as players. We just got to do a better job. Yeah, right. I didn't see it either. I got to go back and look at the tape. All I heard from the, the training staff was that he was out. You know, that's all I know right now. Um, yeah, certainly getting DJ back certainly helped them. You know, uh, you know, uh, he's obviously a dynamic player, and uh, they did a good job today. Yeah, I would just say that we got to do a good job of just uh, in the run game, being in our gaps, the passing game. We got to do a good job of, you know, pressuring the quarterback, you know, staying in our coverage. Um, if it's match coverage or zone coverage, we got to do a better job there. You've been preaching that all year that it's not working or fitting in or getting in. At this point, you have concerns. Yeah, I mean, obviously, when you're a coach, you're always looking at execution. You know, so that I'll just go back to that. We'll look at execution. We'll look and see if we're putting the players in the right position and seeing if we're executing our technique. Yeah, I would just, you know, to me, you know, when you get 30 net passing, that's that's a byproduct of the sacks. You know, so we got we had seven sacks against us. And, you know, that's quarterback on offensive line, getting rid of the ball, you know, taking care of the football. And, uh, you know, that's all 11 of us, you know, protecting that quarterback. And also when it breaks down, him getting rid of the ball. So that's really a function of that. Obviously, it needs to be, still needs to be better, though. You know, the, the passing game needs to be better. we got to do a better job getting chunk plays um, and giving them time to get the chunk plays. And the protection's got to be there, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that. I don't see that. You know, of course, we count loafs and all those things for every single play, and we've always done that. We'll continue to do that, but I, I don't see that. It's more about guys, you know, being where they're supposed to be um, in the right spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no, no, no. It'll be Ryan and I talking about it, and if he's healthy, good to go, he's going. So we're going to get the experience, and he's got to play – um, and, and learn and get better every single week. Right. Yeah, yeah, and again, that's uh, that's our charge as coaches to figure that out. You know, it's, it's our charge to be able to, to move the ball down the field and score points. And uh, we did that first couple of drives. You know, so we got to continue and sustain that during the course of the game. But uh, again, we got to take that what we're doing in the beginning of the game, just keep extending that. Okay.